Men will come up here, even women. It's the people that have not what you have. And they won't ask, they will beat me. I've had my ribs broken open. I've had my nose broken four or five times since I've been homeless. I've had black and blue raccoon eyes. I've almost been set on fire. I've had shopping carts thrown on me. I've had hell happen to me, pardon language. After me and Gilbert were attacked right here uh, several years ago, and we were hit with tire irons, I was hit across the head and his head was cracked open. At that time I had blonde hair, you know, about down in the middle of my back. But um, with all the blood knots in my hair, and um, I, had to, I made a decision to change my appearance. Um, so I started dressing down. I cut my hair really short and um, I started wearing clothes that look like guys' clothes, well, except for this, but you know what I mean. And um, just tried to change my, have it look like I'm a guy for my own safety. Because it's, um, it's hard when you see things happen to girls that don't want to blend in. You know, you can't be running out and being homeless and look all dolled up. You're just asking for, you're asking for it. You're an easy mark. You're an easy mark. You know, and you don't want that kind of attention. You don't, you want to camouflage yourself. You want to blend in. You don't want to stand out like a star. You know, you don't want that. You just want to go through life and the times and just get through what, you know, this time in life before we can rise up and become good members of society and not be homeless. But we're still good people. We're good. Most of us are, are, um, are very harmless and kind. But you have to learn to be tough on the streets. You have to.